start off today, I'd like to apologize to all the vintage players out there. I failed to mention in yesterday's episode the restriction of Gataxian Probe and Gush in the Banned and Restricted List segment. The reason given behind the restrictions was that Monastery Mentor decks were using these spells as a way to draw more cards without paying mana, while creating a large amount of monk tokens. From the article, quote, Hopefully the move away from free spells in the Mentor decks will lessen the impact of the Workshop decks' various Sphere of Resistance effects opening up the metagame." End quote. In other ban list updates, Judge Emeritus Sheldon Menory released the Amonkhet update to the Commander ban list yesterday afternoon. After several months of testing and feedback from players, the Rules Committee has banned Leovold, Emissary of Trest. From Menory's explanation, quote, Leovold violates the tenet of creating undesirable game states by easily locking other players out of the game. We prefer to encourage situations in which everyone gets to play, and it's too easy for Leovold to create the opposite, even unintentionally, end quote. In addition to the banning of Leovold, the Rules Committee also unbanned Protean Hulk. Previously used as part of a combo with the card Flash, Protean Hulk could grab several creatures at once to win a game on the spot. The Commander Rules Committee believes that since the time that Protean Hulk was banned, stronger creature and graveyard control has been released, allowing more answers to the card and the combo. Later this year, the North American Eternal Weekend will be held in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where vintage and legacy players will battle with some of the most iconic cards in the game. The top prizes for the two main events were recently revealed to be updated original paintings of classic cards. The Legacy Championship winner will receive an interpretation of Savannah, done by Mark Poole, while the Vintage Champion will receive a version of Black Lotus by Steve Belladin. On his blog today, Steve Belladin posted his thoughts and process behind creating new art for one of the most iconic cards in trading card game history. If you're a modern tournament player and have been looking to get into the content creation scene, look no further than Turn 1 Thoughtseize. Host Chris Boyd announced on their most recent episode that he will be stepping away from the podcast, and host Aaron is looking for a new co-host to fill his spot. Auditions are open to all competitive modern players and will remain open until this Friday, April 28th. Requirements for the audition are linked in a Reddit thread in the description. Finally, the professor at Tolarian Community College today released a new Tolarian Wins vlog going over the cost of Modern. After going over the average cost of many of the top decks in the format, comparing them to what a board game hobbyist might get out of the same amount, the professor goes into some of the main arguments for and against reprints, and in what types of products they should appear in. That's our show for today, April 25th. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with all the latest magic news and strategy. I'm Jeremy Knoll, and this has been Split Second.